St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought of St. Francis de Sales for July 20th. It would have been a good thing if you had knocked down and trampled the infernal dragon under your feet like St. Margaret, and had clutched the cross strongly to your breast, with your eyes fixed on heaven. Do not force yourself to destroy pride, but rather make sure that you practice humility, exercising it in humble actions, and have no doubts, because so long as you hold the cross in your arms, you will trample the enemy under your feet. From the life of St. Francis de Sales. On July 20th, 1595, faithful to his word given the day before to the Lord of Sales, Bishop de Granier sent a messenger with a letter to Francis in the Chablais, urging him not to risk his life any longer because the whole province was worried about him. He then asked him to communicate with him and give him the true state of the mission in that country. The reply of the generous apostle was presented in the process of canonization by Francis Favre, secretary of Bishop de Granier. Here is the translation. My Lord, I would simply like to say to your illustrious Lordship that these people are so obstinate that they have renewed their prohibition to the public not to come and hear me preach. In this way, when we realize that several would like to come, at least out of curiosity or for some residue of love for the faith, we must be convinced of the obstinacy. They are forever using as an excuse the bad treatment that they would receive from the citizens of Bern and Geneva, who would consider them deserters if they saw them coming to us. They are permitted to approach us only with insults and with stones in their hands. So, you can see that in our talks, we not only have to combat heresy, but in the first place, the love of the world. The ministers themselves confess, and other people would assert, that we convince the Protestants by our arguments concerning the most august mystery of the altar, and quite a few would come to us if they were not held back by human respect. But with a bit of patience, we hope, my Lord, to see the strong army that guards the house thrown out by someone stronger than all, namely our Lord Jesus Christ.